Welcome to Cebu Expat by Matt Wilkie, discussing expat life in the Philippines. Family issues in the Philippines um, and family confrontation. I'll do this as a combo thing. Family issues aren't your issues. The issues between your wife and her relatives, because even if you're married, they still don't see you as part of the family. Um, getting that change uh, takes time, but also involves people um, not being so arrogant and uh, let me leave that to one side. But there will be issues where confrontation comes up. Filipinos don't like confrontation in any form, um, generally. Um, it's a trait that is a little bizarre because you will see certain like Chinois and other ones which people from that area can be quite aggressive people because they play on the fact that they're half Chinese etc and with it can be quite arrogant and brutal um, not all but I'm just saying that there's a different trait from what I call true Filipinos um, that often can be quite a uh, passive attitude to everything um, on the good side um, I think it creates less arguments on the bad side it's a bit I'm about to discuss you could have some money stolen now the money hasn't been stolen is the you your wife could be manipulated by her parents her aunt her uncle or anybody else that's related to her that just takes the money and says, right, I needed that for tuition fees or whatever for your nephews and nieces and all this. And your wife may just stand there and let them take it. Then when you ask where that money is, she's not going to say that the aunt took the money. What she will say is it was lost, it was stolen and everything else. And this is why I will say, Communication is key. Getting everybody aware that if you're dealing with something that has an impact to you, um, it is your information because it's your cash, it's your decision, not theirs. Um, the way I put it with my wife's family is, if it's money related or gonna have an effect on me in any way, then you don't speak to my wife, you speak to me. That's it end of um, because it's not fair on my wife to be put in the middle it's not fair on other wives to be put in a, a situation by a strong-handed relative that's manipulating things for themselves um, where this happens is for example say well ours was the, the original place we had, we renovated, we extended, we put a new kitchen in, etc. It was on ancestral land, um, which basically is like, oh yeah, just use it, just use it. Um, and what I found out later was then there was like, oh, could you pay some money to help with the renovations of the main house, which is a bigger house? Um, and I was like, yeah, no problem, I don't mind paying it. But what it, it was just the ant pocket and the money she was basically charging us rent that was more expensive well nearly double the rent we were paying on something we moved to later um, that was actually of a bigger size and better condition <laughs> so but my wife initially didn't want to engage in that because now she feels she's stuck between her husband and also her family it ended up with a major blowout Things got resolved. The family have basically done that. There's a big divide because as soon as that, we, um, my mother-in-law actually got involved. Bear in mind, um, my mother-in-law is quite a passive person. She's she's one of the nicest people you'll ever meet, but she will not get into an argument with people or something. She will back down just to keep the peace. Um, she went to Manila at 15 years old to be a seamstress to support her family's needs. Um, her brothers and sisters going to school. So she was working from a child. Um, then some of her relatives made the decision later that, that to look down on her because she was the uneducated one. Um, she didn't finish school, um, but they forget that she was paying for their school. And the reason some of them are working overseas and stuff is because their education was funded from my mother-in-law 
she put up with that for years. Um, and basically all the interference, some of the money being pulled by other members of the family, because it's it's not just about being a foreigner. This stuff goes on between inside the families already. A foreigner, uh, Filipino overseas gets this all the time. Every family emergency is their problem. Doesn't matter how far, <laughs> far down the family tree they are, it's their problem because they they can afford it. They're working overseas, aren't they? So the divide happened because basically what happened is other members of the family went our way, another went the, the in support of the ones that were creating a problem. What's the negative outcome? For us, nothing. Um, and also the other ones that sided with us were actually OFWs as well. Um, they've actually managed to support their families better because before the decisions were basically seeing money going away um, to wherever. Because you get somebody say, I need paint, I need this for this renovation, the money disappears. You know the rigmarole, it's common everywhere. Um, Philippines, it, from church renovations to charity boxes, it's all the same, uh, it doesn't matter. They say it's for one thing and half or even more than that disappears. Um, but when that divide happened, um, my mother-in-law basically put her foot down and was like, that's it. Um, and then her brother sided with her and he's like, but everyone's happier, except for the ones that were riding on the backs of others. Um, because from our point of view, um, that family, those family members still have connections to the area we live in. We're shocked that we bought the lot next door and fully renovated it. <laughs> Cause it pulls people down the, uh, the status symbol because you got to remember this is this is how it works as the person that gives the money you're seen as quite pretty high up the tree now you're thinking OFW it's not the OFW it's the family member that controls that as my mother-in-law although being the eldest was working in Manila that fell to another sister that same sister controlled and manipulated all the brothers and other siblings, uh, brothers and sisters um, financially and everything else. When we actually created this um, stand where we basically said, no, that's it. That actually opened it up like that because what happened is a lot of people weren't happy, but it takes one person to make the change. Um, if I had done it, it wouldn't have actually made that much difference. What did make a difference was my mother-in-law making a stand against her sister. That was quite a major thing um, because uh, the hierarchy is that the oldest is the person that you listen to. It doesn't matter if you agree with them, you're still going to have to agree with them. That's, that's pretty much it. So when my mother-in-law that normally wouldn't get too involved took a stance, the next thing is other members did as well. Um, so be aware, you know, things can have negative and positive effects. Um, but yeah, communication with your wife, very, very important. And also explain to her that you're aware of these things happen. So if she's not going to talk to you about something, you're like, that, where did that money go? Or, or what do you mean there's something missing off the car or something? Where, because this, I mean, I had the guy do this before. He brought me a car battery. Because um, basically, he had a car from his boss at work. Um, he hadn't made the first payment because he was supposed to pay it in installments. So the boss asked for his car back. So he then sold the battery off <laughs> because the boss was repossessing the car. Bear in mind, the guy hadn't even paid the first payment yet. But anyway. Um, just keep communication going and also just have that bit where you go look i know some of these things happen i'm not saying they are happening to us i'm not saying these are going on but come on what really happened <laughs> all right thanks for watching